Now see, now see, they can't see. But Nia's over there, and she she she's, see, she's she got a little bop going on too. She's floor directed. Well, see, we saw. They hear. didn't see, but we saw. I don't think anybody else in the room could hear. So you but know, she can, so she knows you there's know, a group. You know, you know what yeah. it is. It's just All got right, a little bit of it. little of this. Okay. Uh, good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog, <laughs> and I'm Jen Dalton, <laughs> and we thank you for joining us on Arc Cincinnati. We have just a super busy and awesome show today, including <laughs> we have two baby wallabies. Literally in the in the green room over there. I'm so How? excited, baby wallabies. Only so you, only you could get wallabies successfully into the building, and she did that. Uh, also, members of the cast of Legally Blonde at the Footlighters join us to play a game <laughs> we call Name That Blonde. But first, let's check out what's brewing in the tri-state. Oh boy, the Reds. The Reds in the Padres series is all tied up right now after last night's game. The Rally Reds couldn't close the gap. Final score was 6-4. to four. So let's talk about something more fun. They didn't win last night, but Ellie De La Cruz is making history again. We'll back it up to Monday so I can explain. Ellie's home run in the first inning of Monday night's game makes him the first player since 1901 to have eight home runs and 17 stolen bases in a single month. Woo. He had been tied with Ricky Henderson, who had seven home runs and 20 stolen bases in May of 1986. That home run, by the way, was also the hardest hit ball of anyone on the Reds team anyway this season. Coming off the bat at 113.4 miles per hour. Wasn't there a point? Let me go back. Take it back. Way far. Take it to the way Where, far lands. When when we brought him up and people were like, I don't know about this guy. He's not guy. ready. He's not ready. He's not, they, they, even at the beginning of this season, people were still saying that because at least early in the season, he was still, I think maybe we mentioned it here one day, he was still having trouble with something. He was striking out too right. much. Something happened. Something, 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 something switched because he is he's getting a lot more walks. He's getting on base a lot more. And he's so fast yeah. that when he gets on base, even if it's just a walk, it throws it throws the other team completely off because they're so I love it. worried about his speed. I am so glad and so proud that they 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 took a I guess risk. I mean they saw in him, they knew what was coming, but they stuck in with him and said you know, we're gonna work down. out some of the kinks. They didn't yeah. send him back down. They're sticking with him because he makes it so fun to watch you because you never yes. know what's gonna happen. Well and and I think that's the thing. And I think a lot of younger people who maybe hadn't been watching right. as much baseball they which see is about Ellie. always a concern. Yeah. They're watching because they want to see Ellie. Yep. They want to see Ellie. Agree. Yep. All right. Well for the first time since twenty nineteen all Cincinnati pools will be open for the summer. It's very exciting. City officials announced the plan that they are calling 24 and 24. All 24 pools and spray parks will be open. The first will open on Memorial Day weekend, 17 more on June 3rd, and the rest by June 10th. This year, the city has been able to hire wow. enough lifeguards, which, you know, as we've talked about, has been a problem for the past four years. And the hope is that the more pools open could help young people avoid crime. And in addition to being really focused on empowering and supporting our law enforcement, we're also focused on a comprehensive plan that includes uh, positive engagement with youth, that includes investing million, an increase of millions of dollars into youth employment. It includes lifeguards and pools, making sure that they're open. Registration for swimming lessons at city pools actually starts today. That's a big deal. Because how, how many years in a row have Four. we gone on and yeah. on about things not being open and they can't find enough lifeguards and just all of the things. So the fact that they've got enough and everybody can just sort of dive yeah. right in. That's great stuff. Uh, speaking that's of which. That's been a lot of hard work on people. It is. It would be warm enough to swim this week. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna push like 85, 86 My degrees at some point this week. My brother-in-law opened like two weeks ago. Two weeks they ago. They have a heated pool, and so they've been swimming uh, already. I'm like, uh, got a heated pool. Uh, it's good, it's to, good have, to have a brother. Good to have a brother with a heated pool. pool. Yeah, Amen to that, sister. Well, as NSYNC might say, am I allowed? Tanner, wait a minute. Are we allowed to sing? Am I allowed to sing this? <gasps> it's gonna be. May. May. Yeah. Um, all joking aside, there are some big events happening this month in the Tri-State. Covington is hosting a May Fest, Love May Fest later this month. The German-themed fest will be held Philadelphia Street, Global Park. There will be a, a crowning of a May Queen. There'll be a, a home run derby of sorts, I'm told. A Stein hoisting contest and a traditional Maypole dance. 
Covington's May Fest, May 17th mm. through the 19th. Festival we talked about it the other day. Festival season is in full swing. And speaking of German kind of type festivals, our friends, the, those German guys, yeah. are coming in Friday. Oh, to talk about events that they. Wait a minute. They haven't been in this room and done this show yet. That's dangerous. It is. It's going to be a fellas. whole lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, by the way, how are they going to do the home run derby? I'm, I'm curious. Are do, they constructing a fence? Is it regular baseball? Is it wiffle ball? We will, is it softball? We will have to investigate. We're going to get Dwayne on it. <laughs> We're going to investigate and find out. We should, Dwayne? Is that right? Are we in charge of your assignments, Dwayne? Is that right? Wouldn't that be something? That would be fun. Oh, my gosh. That would be great. I have ideas. <laughs> yeah, so many ideas. This month, the Cincinnati Zoo is also celebrating the newest residents. Zoo babies at the Cincinnati Zoo starts yeah. today. That's a little oh, cow, I think. Look, I know little what the little cow, that is cow. Starts, uh, this um, year's zoo babies included a baby sloth, bat-eared fox, who you're seeing is cow, a copy, a bongo, an opossum, a cape, porcupine, uh -huh. three manatees, and more. The zoo sent this video, including cow. We were talking about the bat-eared fox kit. It's not quite view viewable yet, but hopefully will be this summer. And coming up is Mother's Day, of course. The zoo is letting all moms in oh, for free for Mother's Day. Oh, look at Did you have a little copy? Oh, man. Zoo babies are the best. And speaking of babies, I, I'm so excited. The, the baby wallabies are coming I up. I can't. I can't. I can't. Is one of them an, al an yes. albino baby mm -hmm. wallaby? Mm -hmm. I know. Coming up. Wallabies. Uh up in here, up in here. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you wanna see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.